Let's take it to Kano State where passengers heading to Lagos and Ori from the state are complaining about their non-inclusion in the 50% discount initiative introduced by the federal government. But others traveling to Onicha and Anambra State thank the government for including them. TVC News uh, correspondent at Kano State Ibrahim Isa reports. It's the Unitai season and many Nigerians are traveling from one destination to another to spend their holidays. With just a few days to Christmas, the federal government, through the Minister of Solid Minerals, Dele Alake, introduced an interstate travel discount initiative for road travelers and 100% discount for train travelers. A visit to the Kano Luxury Bus Motor Park shows a beehive of activities as travelers move from one location to another. According to one of the managers here, Kano to Onicha now comes with a 7,000 discount from the initial 30,000 transport fare. The man management instructed that even the buses are left yesterday, we should combine their names and phone numbers from the manifest. They are going to refund them the money on top of what they paid. The normal price for the ticket is 23,000. The additional 7,000 on top will be refunded back to them. Even today, the three buses that left today, the same thing will be given to them too. So that is the, uh, the, the first time we are seeing this kind of thing happening in a season like this. Some passengers traveling to Onicha in Anambra state are pleased with the discount and exploit joy at the development. Uh, actually, yesterday we paid 30000 for the transportation, but this morning we are informed that government gave a discount of 7,000 naira to become that's our fare now is now 23,000. Traveling to Anambra State, on Nisha to be precise, and uh, the cost of uh, ticket yesterday was 30,200. So this morning we were told by the manager of the company that there will be a discount of 7,000. That is from the president of the country. Though the federal government has excluded air travel from the initiative, some passengers here call on the government to wade in and provide lasting solution to the problem. Uh, this year needs discount. They refuse to collect, uh, to collect the 50% discount. And now we pay the 28,000. I'm traveling from Kano. I'm going to Lagos. And I bought the SD Moto. And the transport fare is 25,000 Naira. There is no discount. I enter now for this money. I don't pay 25,000 Naira. So, at the end, I say another motor, the carrier, for 12,000. Say government won't pay uh, another uh, 12,000 for them. So, where, where I want to now? The slash in fares for Nigerians started on December 21st and is expected to end on January 4th, 2024. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano. Ibrahim Isa joins me now from Kano. Ibrahim, this slash in a bus fare is meant to be 50%, but those you have spoken to in that report spoke about just about a 23% discount. What's going on there? Well, uh... Based on the information we got from one of the managers at the park, he said he got instruction today that, uh, you know, they are, had, the, the passengers initially pay 23000 but because of the Ulitai season, normally, uh, I don't know what the reason is, some parks increase the fares. So they increase the fares from 23 to 30000 uh, Naira. So the, man, the management of his own company ordered that the uh, they reverse back to the normal 23,000 Naira from, I'm talking about from Kano to Anambra State to, uh, to Onicha. So the reverse of uh, 23,000 is the reason, uh, is one of the measures they take uh, according to the manager. But we don't know exactly why the prices have not been slashed to 50%. And in that same pack, we spoke to some uh, passengers, they lament non-inclusion, that uh, they are boarded buses that were not included in the federal government initiative. 
And as you have uh, heard from the report, they called on the government to wade into the matter and extend uh, the initiative to more companies so that uh, more passengers can enjoy the discount provided by the federal government. And Ibrahim, about the first set of bus operators you spoke about, even if it's 23,000 naira, 50% should actually be about 12,500 naira uh, or 11,500 naira. So it's really uh, disturbing and we hope that you know, we get to the root of that. But then, uh, has this initiative uh, made us see more people at the bus parks trying to travel? Yes, uh, there are more passengers, especially uh, around the, uh, the section of the park where the discount is in effect. Uh, talking about uh, the routes from Kano to Onicha. But in places where the buses move from Kano to Lagos, there are less uh, congestion. There are the people, the, the passengers there are not much. The, the, there is uh, some kind of... Uh, a scanty nature of people there because the prices are still the same and uh, people patronize more buses that offer such discounts. Indeed. And then, uh, well, I, I would really like to, you know, hear what the views of the authorities are regarding this because uh, it might just be some kind of, uh, you know, call it sabotage of uh, the initiative to actually help the people get, uh, you know, some level of discount this season. Thank you very much, Michael Oshoma, for us there.